Now I'm ready for a Christmas video that's going to age poorly January 1st. Tis the season for a little Christmas reaction video, opera style. I love Christmas, and I love Christmas music, and I hope you do too. I asked you on Instagram who your favorite opera singing Christmas carolers were, and this is what you told me. So these are not my favorites or my choices, they were all chosen by you. Some of my favorite opera singers that sing Christmas songs are the ones that are famous enough to have their own Christmas album, and that would be Luciano Pavarotti, Jonas Kaufmann, I really like some of his album. <laughs> it's all awesome. Okay, what am I saying? It's all awesome. It's just some of it's a little, just extra fun. I'm in too deep. We are going to start with the most requested song by far. Oh, all right. It's like an organ bass down the octave. That vibrato is so UC beer like it's just like it's a little bit much for some people, but for me I think it rides right on the line of of beauty. It's just it's beautiful. Nice aval for that one. It's the same vowels as in English. Fall on your knees over here. Wow, that was artistic. You can just tell that voice is moving straight out. What do you say about perfection, you know? It's fantastic. It's beautiful. Everything's classy. Everything's within the realm of good singing. This is such a hard piece to sing. And he's handling it like a champ. His spin just carries through every line. Oh, well, that was beautiful, isn't that? I'm normally hating my life at this point, but he doesn't sound like he's hating his. We just spent four minutes and 15 seconds waiting for it, and here it comes. No breath. Okay, hold up, hold up. We gotta listen to that again. Sorry, everyone. No breath, but listen to the note he's saying. No, he, that note there, it's a little, I, I, I did not, first of all, I thought that wasn't my favorite note. And second of all, I thought, oh, he's gonna take a breath and reset, but he didn't. I don't know how he possibly came out of not singing that best note his best without a breath and then went into the high note. Uh, that's obviously a C. Just that note right there, listen to it. It's this note coming up right here that I feel like is not his money spot. He's like, what do I do? And he opens it. Ah. Jeez. That's just talent. That's just talent. All right, pause. That's just talent. That's just being able to simply write out any, any situation. Because a lot of people, if they start going off the path, as they go off the path, they go further off the path as the high note approaches. But for him, he goes off the path. You can see at the, at the, 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 the sort of second half of the note, no, 
he sort of goes, oh, he is like, oh, I should open my mouth. And then he gets into the note. So luckily, I think he probably saved himself there. So he, again, tight, closed for that vowel, which should have been open from the beginning. But then the C, what do you say? One more time for posterity's sake, right? I mean, because it's my video, I can listen to it as many times as I want. Come on, this is, has to be in Swedish, right? So Mozartian, right? <sighs> give me some bells. Oh, give me some swells. Bells and swells. That's what the Christmas season's all about. So for the next ones, entire albums were recommended, and this is just one track from those albums. Not amen, amen. That's nice. It creates more of a conical shape for the vowel to sort of go ping out like a laser beam. That's why she did that. I guess the words were easy to memorize for this piece. <laughs> Jeez. Nothing like a cathedral for high notes. Honestly, the cathedral that I see in here is the cathedral inside her palette she lifts it and sends those high notes just shooting right out of the top of her head. It's incredible when she gets up there. That's exactly the idea you want to think of when you're singing those high notes is that it's a vaulted ceiling sort of feel back here and so that the notes kind of go oh, that's exactly what she's doing. It's a master class. God, I mean just the presence, the poise, the integrity you hear and feel in her sound and in her person as a, as, as, an, as, a, as a performer. Jessie Norman is uniquely her own. There's no one else like her before. There's no one else like her since. I have always loved Jessie Norman and now I just want to listen to more of her Christmas music. I am so sorry, my battery died. I had to wait for a new one to show up at my house, but they gave me an amazing opportunity for this costume change. This is the most iconic Christmas opera video of all time. It's got like 9 million views, right? It's like 9 million more than my most viewed. So 9 million views in opera is like 90 million views in Main Street. Oh. Oh, 
Who doesn't love a children's choir? So cute. Makes me think of the day that Cash will be in one of those. Ave Maria. Nice, Chelly. Sit with the beard. <laughs> that, do I come in now? There you go. That was right. What a tone, huh? It's so, like, tenorial, yet so individual at the same time. This is just Placido Prime. Placido in his prime, man. Yeah. Listen to that. What a sweet sound that is. Just what a sweet tone, dulcet, tenorial, beautiful, but with gravitas and emotion and character. Placido, you feel his heart in everything he sings. The brightest star in the business right there. I love how much faster he takes the children's chorus than like he lets the tenor sing. Let's get through this part, come on, and we've got to be done in three hours. Oh, here's a little harmony. So easy for him. Listen to that. Man, just sing it, Puff. That's the tone. That's 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 what you get. What? I guess that's one way to end it. Wow, two of the greatest to ever do it. In their primes, shaking hands. Ah, oh, God. I wish we still had concerts like this. That was just incredible. I miss these sorts of concerts where just a couple of opera singers can carry the whole thing and you can put it on PBS and you can make it into a special. But anyway, about them, like two of the best to have ever done it. The, definitely the best of a generation. The best two singers of their generation for sure. And to hear them do this with just such eloquence, such ease. And honestly, I guarantee you that was just like, oh, we do these songs. You know, when they're, when they're planning the, 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 the lineup of pieces they're going to sing on the program. They're like, oh yeah, we sing this and we sing that. It's not like they're practicing this a lot or anything like they would if they had a Trovatore coming up or Aida or something. It's that they just get out there and they just do it because they're just two naturally talented guys who worked really hard, who have, happen to have the most beautiful voices of all time. Uh, all time, definitely top 10, definitely top 10. Okay, I really wanted to listen to Jonas Kaufmann sing Christmas songs, but it was really hard to find one where he wasn't lip singing. So here's one where he's not lip singing. All right, Jonas, what do you got? Chestnuts roasting on an open fire Jack Frost nipping at your nose What a beautiful voice. Yuletide carol I actually like him not pressurizing the air so much because he's got a microphone. Obviously, he doesn't have to. But it just, just shows what a natural talent he has. He's just a beautiful sound. Beautiful voice. Like I saying, he's just relaxed. Everybody knows. Oh, there's no, oh, there's no effort. There's no push. It's just beautiful sound, beautiful singing. Tiny thoughts with their eyes all aglow will find it hard to sleep tonight. They know that sound. I like this Jonas. I like Jonas the crooner. This is great. He's gonna join the Rat Pack. <laughs> and every mother's child is gonna spy. 
to kids from 1 to 92. I like how simple he's keeping it simple, but he's meaning it. Although it's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas to you. Take it away, orchestra, right? Oh, take it away. Is that a marimba or a xylophone? Who knows? Oh, no, he's killing it with that jacket. Oh. <laughs> I think they just edited the, the poor the poor xylophone guy out. They were like, alright, well, good enough. Back and to Jonas. So they literally I'm just cut. This, although it's been said many times, many ways. There you go. Merry Christmas. Get it. To Get it, old jazzy on us. Look at all the hats he wears. Nice. Oh, that's so much fun. See, I could listen to that all night long at a Christmas party. All night long, so festive, so beautiful. And look at the set and everything. This is great. I loved it. I absolutely loved that. It's just nice. It's just relaxed. It's just beautiful voice, beautiful singing. It hits you right here. Again, makes you want to curl up. That's what Christmas is all about. Thanks so much for being here for this Christmas special of mine. Schöne Weihnachten, uh, Joyeux Noël, Feliz Navidad, Buon Natale, and so forth and so on to all of my friends out there in the world. Mwah.